Right, guys, we've got something cool today to play with. We've got a new uh, channel sponsor who uh, we're affiliating with, uh, which should be very interesting because they make a lot of cool tools. So a few things I'm going to order from their website. Um, to have a look, go down in the video description, click on the link. Um, in the video description, you'll go to this product, but then in Australia, there's heaps of products. In America and Canada, there's heaps of products. And, uh, yeah, today we're looking at what they've sent me out. Uh, the first thing they've sent me out, and this is a high-definition bore scope. Industrial endoscope. So we have a little catch here, which takes the USB-C cable for the endoscope, which then holds it in. So, it's a 1080p great endoscope. We can actually record 1080p. The screen on this isn't quite 1080p. Um, it's not quite that good, but it is a very clear little screen as you can see. It's nice and responsive. Okay. Oops. We've turned it on before we put the camera in there. Turn it on. Ah, we went in all the way. As you, so you heard that beautiful clean snap there. That's uh, that's a good um, latch that actually holds this on. All right. So as you can see, it's got some LEDs in the end. Very easy to see what you're up to. You can see the phone we're recording with there. So it actually has three cameras. This button here allows you to take photos or whatever you're looking at. I'm assuming then we just press that one. Yep, there we go. Simple to use. There's a lot of light in the uh, in the room because we're recording, obviously. You turn all the brightness up and down a couple of stages like that. Um, we pick the different cameras. Ah, there we go. Oh, that flips it. Is that a side camera? Yep, there you go. It's got cameras in each side. You see that? Cameras in each side and a lens and an LED in each side. This is very cool. Let's find something to put this in. I was just thinking it's a shame it doesn't have like a stand. It has a stand. Haha. <laughs> okay. So we sit. Let's undo this cable. So we've got this power inverter. It's got a fan at the back that we can use for access. We will put this in an engine. Might have to rip a spark plug out of my um, Barra Turbo Falcon. But we will pull, put this in an engine. We will check if it'll go in a glow plug hole as well. It's very small, there's a good chance it might. It's actually really lightweight, so it's kind of Manipulated around by its camera a bit. All right, how do we change the camera? Is that straight out the end? That's straight out the end. We'll get a bit of light on the situation. Get in past the fan. See what's going on in there. Caught in the fan. Go in the bottom. There we go, we got above the fan that time. Yeah, oh, there's a plastic sheet there, you can see that. Let's. Oh, that's flipping it. It's 
now we can see with our side camera. So now we're looking at the top of the aluminium case. That is so cool. We can move around in there. See, we're using the side camera. So you press the down button to change cameras. So you end up with your straight out the end one. Um, it's USB-C on the end of this cord. It's oh, it comes with a memory card. I didn't even think about that. Let's see how big that is. So there's a charging port here, a memory card port there. A little micro SD, oh, 32 gig. Now you're not going to fill that up anytime soon. Does it record video? It does. You press and hold down the video button and it records video. What else we got? We can put the camera in, that looks cool. Does that record audio with the video? I doubt it. It's definitely clear enough to um, clear enough to see what you're doing. You've got a battery percentage bar up the top there in the uh, right hand corner next to the memory card logo. That's going to allow you to make sure you've got enough battery to complete whatever job you're trying to do. There's several metres of cord. It looks like three. Just check that. Eight millimeter HD camera. Um, the camera is IP67 waterproof. Eight LEDs in it. You can rotate it. That makes sense. I don't like people that sit here and read the book from start to finish. I just want to make sure I'm right. Four and a half inch screen, so it's like a few year old smartphone kind of size screen. Just want to know how long it is. Tells you to buckle it in. Oh, that's right. There's a couple of little supports and... Um, things for when you're sticking it in stuff protective caps and hooks uh, five meters bloody hell that's huge and they reckon up to three and a half hours battery life so that's going to be if you're looking in inside something trying to figure out what's going on three and a half hours is more than enough time I would say especially if you yeah struggling that's really cool um, I think these are about $80 I don't know how that compares to other endoscopes I have had a phone one once upon a time but I dropped my phone and broke the screen with it attached to it and that really upset me because it was a $300 screen replacement so having a standalone tool is great obviously when you've got this out and about getting used you can obviously um, use a phone like it's got a we've got a lot of light going on in here and you could probably reasonably expect to be able to take half decent photos of whatever's going on on your screen that easy it's comfortable fits in your hand easy it's got like a spot for your fingers to go so you don't drop it this is really cool now full disclosure Vivo sent me this for free for the purpose of a review I had the choice to choose what I wanted to get and they um, said that they're selling a lot of these in Australia and I said look I'd really like one that'd be handy we do have a few old engines that we would like to have a look inside and that's what we will do with this next we'll use this in an automotive application or two um, I want to stick it in a gearbox and see what we can see inside a gearbox and I'd also like to uh, stick it inside an engine they said to me cool make some videos with it we'll sign you up as an affiliate so 
if you buy one of these, not only do you um, get a ripper deal because these guys are really trying to break into the market here in Australia. Um, they're selling heaps of stuff in Australia by the looks of things. Their website's great. It's probably one of the better um, websites I've seen. Nothing looks cheap, nothing looks junk. Um, they've got heaps of automotive, heaps of electrical, heaps of plumbing style tools on their thing. It's all broken down in websites. Food service stuff. They've got like slushy machines and stuff like that, so I'll probably get one of them for summer. One thing I'm about to order off them is a hydraulic pump for like a 12 volt hydraulic pump set up for my tipper truck. And um, we'll go into reasons why we need to order one of them now, uh, an another time, but um, it is what it is. And um, they seem to be, they seem to have the goods. It got here really quick when they sent it, come wrapped up and all safe. So something with a screen and it turned up safe so you know can't complain oh, it does come with a charging cable which is a micro usb but yeah if you're using this in the shed or you're using this in a semi-professional setting i can't imagine why it wouldn't last you quite a long time uh, the cable is nice and rigid so you can kind of flex it into a shape that you want and then feed it in where you're feeding it yeah the triple camera thing is just amazing being able to see in multiples of directions um, sometimes you just can't see everything you want to see with the first go so yeah thanks heaps for watching thank you vivor the link to this will be in the description and their website buy something from there if you're going to buy something that's not linked from here hit me up i'll send you a uh i'll send you a link to the product and uh the channel will earn a little bit of commission we will buy more vivor stuff and uh play with it Thanks for watching. Catch us in the next video.